Hi, everybody. Rad Mom here. Welcome to the patio. We have a special location for a special guest. This week, we have Andrew Tate. Because I am the top G. He's back in the news, and I'm so, so excited to feature him again on the channel because... <laughs> A little while ago, he posted a video in his underwear saying the most outrageous shit ever was. <laughs> and he's banned from YouTube, however. So this clip was actually sort of hard to find. And like, I don't have Rumble money, y'all. So I'm borrowing it from a reaction video. I will link below. He doesn't really add anything, but I do appreciate him making it possible for us to laugh at Andy today. I'm glad I'm super rich. In with the mind-blowing statements right out of the gate. I hear money doesn't buy happiness, but of course, Andy knows better. You know, now that I'm super rich, I get to be one of those crazy rich guys who acts unusual. And they're like, oh, he's a bit eccentric, but he's rich, so he gets away with it. This video is about three months old, before the police raided him and put him on 30 days house arrest, pending charges like money laundering, child trafficking, and witness tampering. This last one is why I think he's going to prison, because... Let's be honest, <clears throat> you might get a judge who's sympathetic with child trafficking or even money laundering, but <laughs> witness tampering, I wager most judges are pretty unfriendly to that. Like wearing a microphone on his chest. Everyone else puts a suit on, puts the, hides the microphone. I'm like, get a fucking microphone, bro. Yeah, why would you want anything to actually clip your mic onto? <laughs> Not Andy. He says fuck mic placement or sound quality. I'm beginning to understand why you filmed this by yourself. Don't care. Built different. Don't care. This is going to be the running theme of his little manifesto here, and it's sort of concerning. One of my habits now is ignoring all data. No facts for you. Well, it's a bold stance. I'll give you that. It's great. I wonder if that's what he'll say in deposition. I love when people come to me and say, actually, we've got the data to prove. To prove what? You little pussy. What are you going to prove to me? Nothing. Clearly, your mind is made up. I can prove to you that the, 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 the ice caps are melting. There's ice in my water right now. Oh boy, here it comes. I'm going to leave the water unattended until the ice melts. Will the water overflow out of the cup? No. Right, because the ice was already in the water instead of on land in the form of glaciers. But I know, I know, I know. You said no facts. Why are all the richest, most important people in the world who are pushing this scam buying beachfront homes? This is such a weird conspiratorial non sequitur. Maybe because they're actually informed on the topic, so they know that significant sea level rise is not actually expected till around 2100, and we'll all be dead by then. Oh, but the data says... The data's from the Matrix, and you are the Matrix, and the Matrix is full of lies. Ooh, did that hurt? That looked like it hurt. <laughs> the strain of pulling together so much nonsense. But it's Andy's mission, and he's nothing if not determined. Anyone who actually analyzes the data nowadays proves they're a dumbass. Trying to convince you of anything is a fool's errand. That much is clear. Have you seen that graph thing, that meme, where you have the most stupid people and the most intelligent people do the same thing. Then you have the midwit in the middle. Data is for midwits. Um, the bell curve that you're referencing is a compilation of statistical data, but you think it supports your point, so that's okay. Well, actually, I guess statistically. Yeah, being mansplained too does suck, doesn't it? There were stupid people who sat there and said, the jab's made of 5G cellular data. And then there was extremely intelligent people like me who said, I don't trust these motherfuckers. And we both didn't get the jab. <laughs> so he sees who his compatriots are, but this is more data to be ignored, of course. If you even look at data nowadays, you're a dumbass. You should just know. I'm afraid not everyone's intuition is as well tuned as yours is, Andy. Street smart people don't need data. We've just been around. Collecting data. <laughs> you know? I've just been around. I just know things because I've just been around. Anecdotal experience it is a form of data, my man. <laughs> and I clipped a disgusting anecdote about bitches on a street corner with a hamburger. As I say, I will link where I got this down below. You're free to go and 
listen to his his full disgustingness. But buyer beware. Ben was probably looking up his asshole for any little extra pieces of paper. Let me just make sure you didn't miss any of the study. <laughs> Hoping it was a tunnel. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Does this look like a cry for help to anyone else? So I no longer listen to data. That contradicts your worldview. You have slipped totally into solipsistic denial. And you're proud of it. You look like a fucking maniac right now. Pretending that women can navigate an automobile better than a man can. Is that what Google said? Oh, we trust Google. Go oh, Google said that. The, these insurance statistics have been pretty stable for decades. I knew this before it was possible to Google anything. Let's ignore the 5,000 times I've seen a woman crash or I've been sitting next to one fearful for my life. Yes, we're going to ignore your anecdotes, Mr. No Data over here. Doesn't get to present any. Number of times I've been driving and I'm about to fucking swerve. I'm going to kill this guy. And I pull up next to the person who nearly hit me. Some female with opinions. Fuck it now. Well, since opinions are all you have, the women in your life had better be the keepers of facts. But don't worry, I suspect you will be without female company for a while very soon. Oh, but the data says, the insurance data from, from Google, from the Matrix, the Matrix says. Don't listen to data. I'm rich. I don't have to listen to data. Right, because you just know things from being on the street. Come on, even hood rats have better fashion sense than you. I didn't know you wore silk boxers, and I longed to return to that simpler, sweeter time. Sometime I asked for data to dismiss it. That's called trolling, Andy. No, it actually warms my soul just a little bit to hear him say that. A kernel of truth and a mountain of self-serving bullshit. It's great. Could be arguing about nearly anything. Someone will say, oh, but I've got to... I'll be like, do you have any proof of that? They'll go, yeah, actually, there's this study. And I'll look at it and go, ah, doesn't count. Why doesn't it count? Because I didn't make it. No evidence contradicting your opinions counts. This is the very definition of anti-intellectualism over here. But I know, he wishes he were in the Bronze Age because he thinks he'd get to have his little harem then. <laughs> I did my own study when I saw that bitch hit a tree. <laughs> what you have just described is a data point, Andy. <laughs> I did my own study. You can't park there, bitch! Study complete. <laughs> I remember when that, that actually genuinely happened. I actually shouted that out a window. I bet you did, because you're a class act. Am I funny? I think, I think I'm funny. That's... Well, if you're not amusing yourself in life, what are you doing? I happen to agree, but I wager we would disagree on why. You know, this is probably going to land me back in jail for some reason. Misogyny. Misogyny is not against the law anywhere I know of, sadly. Here, I've done a study. The data says if you tell the truth or if you're funny on the internet, you go to jail 100% of the time. Well, you not being locked up would then seem to indicate you're not funny. And me neither. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? I've had to decide, am I just going to rely on only my own senses completely? Um, this is why we have culture. So we can pass around ideas and observations and together become wiser than one person could ever be. So you're dropping out of society? <laughs> that is good news. If I only go through the world and only believe my own eyes, my own brain, my own sense of touch and smell, and it's all just down to me to just make it up as I go. And then I thought it doesn't matter, really, if that makes me ignorant or not, because I have hundreds of millions of dollars and I'll be fine. So who gives a shit? What is this, like, oligarchic nihilism? This is strange to me. You're rich, so why resist the siren song of ultimate cynicism? Sounds like a recipe for isolation and paranoia to me, but what do I know? I'm not rich. I'm trying to think of anything I do actually respect enough to read. The law. I'm currently, in case you hadn't heard, basically everywhere, in the middle of a very interesting legal predicament. I mean, I could read the law, but that's bullshit too. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to educate yourself about your opposition. Bronze Age Warlord of the Year right here. The law says this, 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 this. Complicated words, long sentences. It's okay to admit you don't understand legal jargon. That's part of your lawyer's job to explain it to you. Not that you'll listen. 
Can we just skip and just pretend we don't all know that they fuck you with the law if they don't like you and they let you off if they do like you? Can we all stop pretending? Can we please stop pretending that you're not also courting your own version of popularity? That when something will shift the culture of the entire planet, when an event is so large it can affect society across continents, that they're going to leave it up to some random with a law degree and a gown. Let them decide how the whole planet moves. No, that's not how it works. There's power, there's money, there's influence. But you can rest assured that none of these things he's saying right now are facts because Andy's told us he doesn't deal in facts. The only study you should be interested in reading is how money works. It's actually amazing to me that nobody knows how money works at all. Nobody. Oh, okay. So data is important if it serves your interests. I, I think you've talked for too long, Andy. Your contradictions are starting to show. I like to ask that question. People say to me, I'd love to be rich. And I say, rich? What do you mean rich? What's rich? Only the foundational concept of this entire rant. I'm glad I'm super rich. And they go, well, lots of money. And I say, well, what's money? Uh, well, uh, dollars. What's a dollar? You don't even know what you want, you fucking dumbass. Yeah, it's easy to confuse people by playing semantic games. Assuming he only watches the first half of your videos, he probably meant he wants to be like you. What a dumbass. Sitting there trying to get life advice on YouTube. Uh, isn't that basically your original business model? But this video isn't on YouTube because your dumbass probably got banned for your destructive insanity. So this is sour grapes. Poor Andy, you can't yell on YouTube like a normal weirdo. How can my life benefit from making moral enemies by revealing the truth about these blowjobs? You know, blowjobs might be the one thing you could realistically claim any level of expertise in. <laughs> There's nothing good to come from this, but I just don't give a fuck anymore. Don't care if I go to jail. Don't care if they kill me. Don't care if climate change comes. Don't care. You sound depressed, Andy. This whole thing sounds terribly lonely and I almost feel a little sorry for him. I don't listen to any of you motherfuckers because I am built different. This I cannot argue with, but thank goodness for that. I hope all the little Andrew Tate clones out there are paying very close attention to all of this. So yeah, if you want my unprofessional, uneducated opinion, I have a strong suspicion that Andy's going to prison. I have been Rad Mom. Thank you so much for joining me out here on the patio this week. Come back at the top of the hour for the live stream where we always keep it lively. And next Wednesday at 11 with a brand new video, we're going to do something a little more interesting, a little more esoteric, a little less, a little less pop culture next week. I'm looking forward to that so much and I hope I'll see you there. Okay, thanks. Bye.